hello, my name is Edouard duval Carrier. I am here in my studio preparing for a major exhibit at the Perez Art Museum. I've always been interested in how the Caribbean or even this region, South Florida, has been perceived through time. And uh, I've always been interested in how it was presented. Um, and I looked at particular artists that had been either commissioned or sent down to either the Caribbean, South Florida, or you know, even South America, and see uh, what they were looking at back then. I've realized that, first of all, their works were absolutely beautiful. I mean, and, and probably that they were really, yes, they were interested in, in depicting the, the, the region uh, per se, but they really it, it made it much nicer than it really was in the sense that, you know, like they avoided, you know, like the mosquitoes, the malaria, the savages, all this, all, <laughs> all these types of things. So I decided to look at it carefully and maybe send back these images, you know, like to the public um, and uh, rehashing them in a new format. Uh, hence, you know, first of all, they're all at night and basically they're all at night after a rain and under a beautiful moonlit sky. So, you know, like they, they have this uh, sense of, you know, like m mystery that probably in the originals was missing. But I think that in uh, deep in our um, minds, you know, like when, when somebody says Caribbean, when somebody says, you know, like Central America and stuff like that, there are ideas that are conjured up, you know, like very systematically, especially about foliage, about, you know, like landscape and stuff like that. So I've just been, you know, like, reimagining the landscape. Um, he often includes these mysterious figures, like a floating um, face that's covered with uh, strange uh, patterns or a kind of a faceless kind of mask or, or um, several, uh, a standing male figure that's also covered with um, like a, a pattern or some sort of cellular um, you know, pattern across him. And, and these figures are, um, appear in his work, they, they've appeared in various forms in, in previous works and you know they perhaps stand in as kind of um, uh, witnesses or sort of the um, you know the spirits returning to uh, to show us and remind us of the histories that are, are being hidden or not talked about um, to somehow um, you know there are symbols of, of the past coming back to remind us that the that these painful histories can't be forgotten and that they, they haunt us continually. That particular one is uh, based on a very important piece. It's, a, it's the landing of Columbus by an artist called Bierstadt. And uh, it's a grand painting, but this time, you know, instead of, you know, like Columbus discovering, you know, like, I mean, or landing with his, uh, his Spaniard, you know, like conquistadors and stuff like that, he's with, you know, like the whole crew of, uh, from Orlando, from Disney World. <laughs> so, I mean, I kid, I'm sure kids will love that one. Duval Carey is a great experimenter and innovator with um, diverse materials. In this case, he's using um, glue glitter on uh, painted uh, uh, metal sheets. Um, and then he coats uh, the surfaces um, with an acrylic resin to seal the glitter inside. He has other works um, such as these chandeliers that are made with um, resin as well, where he's cast um, small figures um, using kind of uh, purple and clear and black resin. And that's, that's a, a material that often occurs in, in his work. He's, he's a, a master of plastics and resins and sparkles and color. Here, what's unusual about this body of work is how they, they have touches of color. You know, purples and blues and pinks, um, but he's really drained them quite a bit um, and the, the black uh, of these works um, it dominates and, and that has a lot of symbolic connotations about night, about shadows, about what is hidden and what is revealed. Um, and so um, he, he's quite, uh, this is a quite new direction um, in his body of work and a very exciting one. Since we are, you know, like, I mean, protruding so much from Miami into the Caribbean, I think it's very important that we, you know, like, I mean, at least somebody like the PAM, which he, and has, you know, like the, 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 the means probably, or the, the, the space, or the interest, I mean, should look more carefully at that region and look at it, you know, like on a long-term basis. And, uh, 
And this is one of the first, I hope. <laughs> and not the last. 